sure that you get that when that drops. Pretty sure it's going to be $10 like the last one, however much it was. So definitely, if you're looking to get some cool great sword skins or just like any sort of like vaporwave aesthetic, this is the battle pass for you, man. I've already been revealing some stuff on Twitter and definitely check the Brawlhalla official Twitter to see where more of the reveals are going to be. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm about to... I, I might get that battle pass for sure. I didn't get the last one because, uh, you know, I wasn't, you know, I'm not a Tory player, so I wasn't thinking about the end goal. It don't matter, man. You got to look within the battle pass. You might not be in the end goal, but within the battle pass, maybe some true gems. And I feel like that's one of them. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get into it. So far, we got Emperor and DB. We got, you know, Sword versus Great Sword, but all together it's going to be Sword, Great Sword versus Lance, or not Lance, uh, Bow, Sword. And, oh, okay. A little five piece action right there. Oh man, DB was just like a little too shallow with that side light. He almost got the chase dodge to punish. Oh, he should have gone for the end light after that down air though. And he was, would have been able to get a hit on the Emperor. But Emperor is a familiar face that I feel like I haven't seen in a while. He's always been playing that Koji. Goes for the gravity cancel down sig. And I feel like Emperor is like, he's like Zinker, dude. You know, he's just like one of the dudes that just plays Koji and like only Koji. Like, have I seen Emperor play anyone else? I really don't think so. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, Koji is definitely a nice character. Also, I really want that, I really want that, uh, that skin for that bow. I'm about to buy that skin, bro. Literally for that bow. That is a nice bow. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Back in there. That's it. Yep. <laughs> it's so obvious when they're gonna go for it. I know because yeah, I was saying that up. He was setting that up for so long, bro. Like, just come on, man. Like, you just standing there at the edge, like. <laughs> yeah. But it's such a safe move to use. But when you telegraph it that obviously, even Emperor was like, bro, I'm not a bot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on, give me some respect. Well, here we yeah. go, DB, run out these hitboxes. He's basically like one more clean hit. Brandon, none of the light attacks from the Greatsword will KO. Like a neutral air will KO, but none of the grounded light attacks will. So he has to fish for a recovery or, there we go. There's a the recovery I was talking about. Okay, cool. Cause otherwise he might just want to switch the sword there. You know, go for like a D-Light Sayer or a D-Light Recovery at that point because none of the yeah. light attacks really just like do what you need it to. Okay. Now you're starting to see some different dodge windows here. Uh, instead of taking, he took the second hit instead of trying to dodge out of there uh, for that second one. Didn't get a punish though, unfortunately. But now he is starting to dodge a lot on that second hit. So 50-50 is, uh, he's not losing it per se, but he's definitely not winning it too often either. So like, oh, here we yeah. go. Definitely at least trying to mix up his dodges to confuse DB, and I think it's working just the right amount. Emperor able to find two back-to-back -back down sigs on the bow. Looking like he's gonna clean them up real quick here. There we go, dash back. Oh, you're gonna dash back, but then not. Ah, oh, man, you had it, you had it. You know, you get the reaction you want. But the great thing about Greatsword, oh, nice air. Hold on, do we have an edge guard? Falling air, just falling air. Ah, no, nope, missed it. But it's cool. The great thing about it is if you miss, it's whatever. You always end up with positioning even if you miss the reaction for the dodge. So you're never really in a bad spot. Right. Okay. Lands there with that neutral air. Just right, barely scraping the ground, though. And so one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that it is unanimously decided among all the great sword players that bow is great sword's worst matchup free okay uh the reason for that is because you try to control the ground but bow also tries to control the ground but it's a d light comes out quicker than yours and covers roughly the same amount of distance so you never feel like you're in a position to hit the bow before you get stuffed by an attack from it um, and also, that. it juggles really hard, and Great Sword doesn't have a great time coming down. So, I, I do like this matchup. The few Jayons I play it. Well, I mean, I just like the bow in general, but the few Jayons I play it, I don't feel like I'm getting super pressured when I am on the uh, on the bow. So, okay, here we go. Maybe expecting an early jump there, but now he's gonna go ahead and slide that wall real quick. It's actually much closer than it feels. 
There it is. Oh, he baited it out, but didn't get the punish. That has to feel bad. And I don't know if that's what you wanted to do. Yeah, immediately after picking up the great sword, you can see Emperor dashes in with the delight into the recovery. That is a true KO confirm there, and he's able to snatch the game because of it. Hey, man. Here we go. Let's go ahead and see that one more time. I'm just sliding through this replay, man. Definitely, definitely loving uh, the play from both sides. To be completely honest, man, I am a you know I'm obviously an avid bow user, but I am trying to see if the great sword is something that is piquing my interest. And today, right now, I will say after seeing two different JMs, uh, yeah, it's definitely piquing my interest. And talking to you, uh, apparently the, the great sword aficionado now. <laughs> I was just trying to, I was just trying to abuse it as much as I can <laughs> before every people before people learn the matchup. You know, pretend I'm a good Feel player. That. Feel that. That's all I'm gonna get. That's all I'm gonna get mid flat. <laughs> all right, here we go. He's just trying to get down, bro. Help him out. You got him with the weak recoveries too. The ones that don't even give you no distance. He still managed to hit those as well. Oh, nice dash of delight. Gonna throw the weapon away. Oh wow. Might do it now. No, he's gonna chill over here. Wow. There we go. Okay, and so the, the other great thing about Jayun too is that like, yes, great sword is like pretty, pretty cool, but Jayun just also doesn't have a bad signature. Like across all six, every single one of them is good. So it's just like, well, <laughs> got a weapon with a very strong base kit, and then a legend with also very ridiculous signatures, and you just have a really good legend. But like, even despite that, Emperor showing that Koji. Really, I mean, Koji Sigs are like good, but the bow down Sig is so clearly the best, and Emperor does an amazing job of showing why. Ooh. Nice. Hey, big, big stomp right there, big stomp. Nice. Oh, you can do a lot here. Oh. On the whiff. So here we go. Down air neutral air, you're gonna see that combo quite a bit. One thing that DB doesn't have in his great sword gameplay yet is after you go for your single hit or your bridge, you can go for a dash jump down air to catch dodges away uh, or people who are jumping. And DB just hasn't used it at all. It would have gotten him so much more mileage here because then you can just go into the end light bridge after it. But even with that said, DB is showing that you don't need to like be the most efficient to do well with this weapon right there he was able to get a finisher because he caught i believe either a jump or a dodge with the neutral light bridge off the side light and that was enough to just get the ko it ko's extremely early especially if you're able to get side light or down light finishers yeah i mean he might not be getting everything but he's definitely getting enough to like probably get into emperor's head i mean like there's the mental game of you getting hit multiple times that doesn't have to do with the damage like whenever you get uh like down air side lighted by uh, Lance, even if it doesn't do a bunch of damage, you're still like, man, I'm tired of hearing that sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's just, uh, I feel like the mental damage is, is, is starting to rack up. However, though, he is getting a little bit of lead. Maybe his mental fortitude is a little stronger than I'm giving him credit for as he is trying to pull away right now. It's here. Nice down stick from Emperor to catch DB. The Sayer as well to push him off stage. Nice delay. I think DB might try to rock it out with the sword here for the final. I don't agree with it. I think he should pick up that great sword while Emperor has the sword. If he switches to the bow, then might be the time. But now Emperor just has it and boom. Immediately after picking it up, what does he do? He presses Koji's best button down stick. It's quick and easy KO onto DB. So that's now two games in a row. Just sent him packing, bro. So is DB gonna swap again? It looks like he is swapping indeed. Uh, no, the, the, the Jayun, not bad, but was not able to close it out. So we're now going over to the Orion, the original Lance user. What's good? Okay, where are we going? Meta Dev Orion. Three, two, one. one and only, oh, man. He's the bro. first. Use it. It's so good. I wish it's I pretty had nice it. Game. Got another one? I just, I, uh, maybe, huh? I gotta look around the look around the office real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they were like, when I first, when I first got in, uh, when Brawler first came out, man, they were supplying me codes, bro. I was, I was peddling. Like, 
Good times. Anyway, back to the match. Okay. Nice. Let's get that new. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. And he could have made it so much earlier, too. But I think he was trying to make sure he faded that ground pound. And yeah, it just kind of threatened him too low. I guess Emperor just kind of backed off. Thought it might have been a lag thing or something. So he gives him the thumbs up to say, no, we're good to go. I just goof. Um, and now DB has to play from behind. He's already down two games in the set and can't even make it back to the stage right now. There we go. Finally does with the recovery. Nice jump, chase dodge through, reverse and neutral air to hit Emperor. But still, a, a lot of work to do now. Yeah. Kind of more than I think he had mental aptitude for, to be honest. That's the interesting thing about the uh, the lances. I do feel like it really does slow down the way you want to play. Like, you don't want to throw out anything uh, crazy because you don't want to get punished for doing that. And then on top of that, like, oh, okay, that was so slick. I also got destroyed by that. I, The last thing I thought he was going to do was come out with the, the X pivot down here. I, I mean, a ground pound maybe, but no, he said, I'm out of here, bro. What's good? That's the classic, man, because when you're DB there, you're almost basically telling your opponent to go off stage and do something by hanging on the ledge like that. But yeah, yeah. Emperor said bet, <laughs> you know? That's, that was it. Yeah, I think I think Emperor might have this one in the bag. Even with the swap over to the Orion, it just does not seem like it's going to uh, lead to a victory here, unfortunately. Okay, we get one. We could, have a, we could have a Wesley stock or a Kostlik stock here. Let's go ahead, get a quick zero to death. Carry him off the side. Let's see. He'd be throwing out that neutral air. He knows what, which buttons are the good ones. Is that going to be enough? Oh, nice read on the jump from Emperor. Oh, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Emperor, clean 3-0, man. I can't even... There's, there's nothing really else for me to say there. DB just got cleanly outplayed by Emperor all three games. And I mean, just yeah. like that, it's going to be moving on forward in the bracket as well. Um, I, I man, think, I that think was... That, uh, I think that, like, DB had a couple of good matches with the Jayun. Just couldn't, like, get it to, you know, the win. Like, I think the first match between him and, uh, and DB was, uh, oh, well, him and Emperor was I. Second match was a little less high, but yeah, I understand why he tried to swap, you know, kind of like throw the Hail Mary. Unfortunately, the Hail Mary just did not work for him, so. But... Yeah, and you know, even watching the replay, you can kind of see that first stock that he kind of lost, unfortunately, after getting a pretty good uh, punish there. And then after that, I think he was already kind of defeated. Like, he, he definitely put up a little bit of a fight uh, toward the end, but just starting game three, you're already down two games, and your first game starts with you immediately losing your stock in a way that you weren't trying to have happen, like by accident, that, that that's a lot to come back from. But with that said, we are going to keep pushing forward in this bracket. I'm